Hey guys, I device help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys some hidden tricks and features on your iPhone that you probably did not know existed. Now, these are going to be some new ones exclusive to iOS 13, also some requests and some of my personal favorites. And some of these can also be found in iOS 12, but most of these are going to be new in iOS 13. And I first want to talk about the messages application. And we all have that one friend that would send us these super long messages. And sometimes we just don't have time to read them. You can actually have your phone read the messages to you once you tap and hold on a message thread. You see here it says speak. This will allow the phone and Siri to read the message back to you. And the way you enable that bubble is by going to settings. You want to head on over to accessibilities, spoken content, and then turn on speak selected. Now, any text that you select in the future by tapping and holding will give you a speak bubble and the phone would actually read it back to you. Now, another question I get is how do I reply with an emoji stickers to a message thread? Now, with iOS 13, every single iPhone supports Memoji and Animoji stickers. And you can use these stickers to actually reply to conversations. So let's go here with the mouse and let's tap and hold onto it just like so and drag and drop it into the conversation. Now you can also use a second finger to make it larger or smaller, just like that. So it's a really cool way to reply to messages and particularly a message thread, just like so. So very cool tricks here in messages that I wanted to share. Next, let's talk about photos and camera. There's quite a bit of tricks in here that I thought you guys may want to know about, starting with live photos. So if you take a live photo in iOS 13, you can actually turn this into a short clip by clicking on share and then scrolling up and you can save this as a video. Save video option right there would actually save the live photo as a video clip. Now you can also edit live photos to remove sound. If you did not know, live photos do have sound. All you have to click is right here and you can remove the sound from a live photo if you'd like to share that or turn it off and make it into a still image as well. So a ton of great options in the live photos department in iOS 13. Now there's also some great options in the new camera. So the new camera in iOS 13 has preset settings here for the ultra wide, the wide and the telephoto. But what if you want a particular frame? So let's tap and hold and you'll get this wheel that allows you to actually go above and beyond the preset settings that Apple allows you to. So I like this a lot. Now there's also a really cool trick in iOS 13 that allows you to capture video directly from the photo settings. So you can take a picture of course by tapping on the shutter, but if you tap and hold on the shutter, it'll start capturing video. You see that? So now it's capturing video. We can lock it in place just like that, bring it back and now it saves the video. So tap to photo, tap and hold to capture video directly within one setting, the photo settings. Now going back into the photos here, there's one option that I wanted to share with you guys under portrait mode, and this is how to edit portrait modes and a landscape. Your iPhone allows you to edit portraits and landscape, and I think this is the best way to edit your portraits. As you see here, the layout is clean. It looks right. You can edit all of the effects right here. You can also turn on and off the effects and also the actual background uh, blur. You can also adjust directly from here and the settings are just a lot nicer and easier to use in landscape mode. So there you guys have it, how to use and edit photos in landscape mode for portraits. These portraits look very, very nice when you shoot these on iPhone. And uh, yeah, those are the best ways to edit these portraits. Now in iOS 13, your iPhone is capable of reducing noise in phone calls. And for whatever reason, this feature is turned off by default in iOS 13. So what you wanna do is head on over to accessibilities. You wanna scroll all the way down. You wanna find audio and visual. This right here, phone noise cancellation. Noise cancellation will reduce the ambient noise on phone calls when you hold the receiver up to your ear. I'm not sure why this option is off by default, but you can turn it on under the accessibilities and audio and visual and your phone calls will be a lot nicer. Trust me. And last but not least, I wanna share with you guys how to get this beautiful live weather on the lock screen of your iPhone. Now, I have a separate video on this, but there's been some minor changes in iOS 13 that I would like to share with you guys so you can get that live weather going directly on the lock screen. Now, unfortunately, this is not something that you can have by default, but there's an option to enable it, and I'm gonna show you how. The first thing you wanna do is head on over to Privacy, Location Services, and then you wanna find the actual weather extension. There it is. Now, once you do that, make sure you select while using the application, so make sure that is selected. Then we wanna head on over to Do Not Disturb. 
Let's say you go to bed at 11 p.m. at night and wake up every day at 7 a.m. You want to go from and to for the times that you want to use do not disturb. Now, just as an example for this video, it is 10 uh, 28, so I'm just going to go from 10 15 to 10 29 just to show you what this looks like. There it is. And now, when I wake up in the morning, the iPhone will actually show me the weather when I grab it in the morning. So, again, I'm just using these times just to demo this. But, of course, you'll use the time you go to bed and the time you wake up. And when it hits that timer where Do Not Disturb turns off automatically, the iPhone will actually greet you with the live weather on the lock screen. It looks very, very nice. So, let's go ahead and wait here that one minute that we have to go. And you'll see that Do Not Disturb will be turned off and the weather will be displayed on the lock screen. And I wish Apple would just make this a default live weather on the lock screen, but for whatever reason, they just have it enabled for do not disturb. And there it is. Good morning. It gives you the weather. Very nice weather. You can click on dismiss. And that is how you get that live weather on your lock screen by setting the time before you go to bed and at the time you wake up. So those are some of the settings that I wanted to share with you guys. Hopefully you learned something from this video. If you like these types of videos, make sure to click the like button and I'll have more videos coming your way. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.